Good morning guys, today is Friday and today is our 100th day of school. I know we are a little bit behind of some other people, but we start our school year a little bit later and we take frequent breaks, um, if like around Christmas and that type of thing. So today is officially our 100th day and we have some fun things planned. We've kind of put all of our school books off to the side and we're gonna do a bunch of 100 day themed activities. So. Anyways, the boys are excited. It is a snowy day today. Um, Jeremy worked from home yesterday and today, and we're supposed to get more snow, I think like two to six inches between 4 p.m. and um, tomorrow morning. So we were snowed in yesterday and the roads are drivable, I'm assuming, because he just went out to go grocery shopping. <laughs> um, but it is like, it is very snowy out there. <laughs> and yeah, I think we got about five inches I think we got a total of five inches on, oh, I can't even keep my day straight, Wednesday. So if we get more snow, oh my goodness. But it's exciting because being from Arizona, we aren't used to a lot of snow. So we're excited. This baby wants a cupcake. We made cupcakes yesterday with homemade frosting. Oh my goodness, it is so good. But he want, he thinks it's a muffin and he wants it now. And I'm like, no, you have to wait. It's a cupcake. So. Anyways, I'm going to make some tea and then we're going to head downstairs and get started. First, I found several worksheets. They were all off of Pinterest. And this first one, they got to draw a picture. And then at the bottom, they wrote, if I had $100, I would, and then they filled it out. So they both had a lot of fun with that and they turned out really cute. The next worksheet was kind of like color coordinating and they had to count how many items there were. Um, that was fun. Cooper really enjoyed that one. Then the next one, um, I just kind of made this up. Cooper, my six-year-old, loves stringing like Fruit Loops or cereal onto uh, thread. So this one, they had to count out 10 rows of 10 and then string them onto a piece of yarn. And then they got to make a little necklace, which turned out to be way more than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> but they both really enjoyed that. thumbs up. Next the boys worked with their links. They actually got these for Christmas um, and I love them but they again counted out 10 rows of 10 and then they linked them all together. They had to make an estimation as to how long like how far it would actually go with 100 links and then um, they we actually measured it to see how long it was and how close their predictions were. Here you can see Carter is using the tape measure. We measured it in feet and inches since he was kind of learning about that in his math book in his last lesson. So we had fun with that. It was longer than we had expected. My husband made us uh, breakfast sandwiches and we thought, hey, this is a good opportunity to weigh it. So we weighed it in grams since that again was something Carter was learning in his math book. Next, we did this little prediction, an actual um, worksheet of 100 drops of water. So I just had a little eyedropper. The boys got to uh, make a prediction as to how full the cup would be and then test it out. The next thing we did was we weighed, we had some leftover um, Valentine's Day hearts <laughs> candies. So they each counted out five rows of 10 and then we had 100 together between the two of them. We put them in our scale and then they had to find items around the room that weighed about the same amount as 100 hearts. So they had fun doing that, finding different items. Some of them worked, some of them didn't. But here Cooper was, this was quite interesting to actually watch. He was weighing out the um, pencils and pens. He realized, oh, there's too many. So he started to take some out. He had to figure out how many were supposed to be in there. It was really cute and he figured it out. Um, they really enjoyed this activity a lot.
there he goes. He finally got about the same amount on each side. <laughs> Took him a while, but he figured it out. Then it was Carter's turn and he was using our little beat sticks for um, the music uh, activities that we do. And he decided we needed three and a half, not four. So his didn't quite work out perfectly. The last thing that we did was I bought these little Dixie cups and they had to stack a hundred of them. I don't know that Cooper actually counted them out, but he had so much fun playing with them and made little walls and it was really cute. They also did lots of coloring. This is my three-year-old and oh my goodness, he was so cute coloring in the lines. I just, he amazes me every day at the things that he wants to do to be like his big brothers, but he did an awesome job coloring for being a very young three-year-old. And then the thing that the boys were looking forward to the most were decorating their cupcakes. We had made cupcakes and we put the number 100 on them with a Twizzler and a couple of gummy lifesavers and they were delicious. So those were our, our activities that we did on our 100th day of school. I hope you guys enjoyed and got some good ideas. Thanks so much for watching.